Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's me Johnny here with another reaction and analysis video. Finally listened to you guys and turned on my microphone. Let's test it. Okay, we're good. Today we're looking at Jeff excuse me. Today we're looking at Jeff Costalici's cover of Ghost Riders in the Sky that he just released earlier this afternoon at the time of my recording. I'm super hyped for this. Love Johnny Cash, love the style, very fun to recreate, in my humble opinion. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into this one. Okay, we're live. Let's do this. What a great video. Okay, wait, so we haven't gotten a strobe light warning before, so that's something. An old cowboy went riding out one dark and windy day. Okay, I don't need subtitles. Ooh. Let me turn this up a bit. B flat. Old cowboy went riding out one dark and windy day. Okay, B minor is our key. And we start with this trademark guitar uh, guitar line from the original. Um, so right off the bat, Jeff has a really, really nice voice to be recreating Johnny Cash here. I've been requesting Walk the Line from him down in the comment section for a little while. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I really like his voice from Johnny Cash, but you know what? This is too early to be pausing. Let's continue. An old cowboy went riding out one dark and windy day. Upon the ridge he rested as he went along his way. When all at once a mighty herd. Yeah, hold those notes. That's not really singing high. It's higher than we're used to getting from these covers from the lead. Generally, there's always moments of singing in the in like a more baritone E register. So it's not super high, but I really like his tone up there. I think showcasing it here is a very good decision because he's not done that very often, especially right in the opening of a piece. And I heard in the beginning we all again. It might have just been the F sharp too, but if we got the low, like kind of like chest fry feel in in the beginning, right up to the first note. So. Got some low stuff here, but I enjoy showcasing the higher range a little bit. through the ragged sky and up the cloudy draw. That's to be expected. Excuse me. I don't have a I don't have an A, but that down to an A1 there. So obviously the root is B. That that's the root, and he uh, dips down to the um the um subdominant. I mean the sub the subtonic. Brains were still on fire and their hooves were made of steel. Okay, we're in love with the low B. That's perfect. And costume, costume design, very nice work. Uh, I, I'm at the highest quality set, visual setting. Uh, pardon me. Okay, I just wanted to get a better look at these faces. And creepy. It paint his skin blue or something. Their horns are black and shiny, and their hot breath he could feel. Ooh, I love the vibrato tone there. And their hot breath he could feel. Feel, feel. But like a really heavy vibrato on that. Also, instrumentally, at the first, we just had the like guitar goose strumming. Now we get a bit of um, tambourine going, a little bit more rhythmic drive as we're building up the song. They thundered through the sky For he saw the riders coming hard And he heard their mournful cry Yeah, let's 
break into this as we get to this bigger section of the song. We get the dun dun da 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 dun. That general uh, like the a, a more popular guitar strum pattern there. With that adds a little bit more drive than just having the periodic strums to mark the chord changes. Now we're getting the full strumming pattern, the full drive from the guitar. Hang on. So I'm trying to find that note there. The sky for we saw the riders coming. So that happens a lot there that what well, I mean it's happened at the end of both the verses we've heard. That dip down to the six, and then the one, and then the three. So you build a G major chord in B minor. Very harmonically interesting. Like the visual effects here, with these background Jeffs disappearing and look fading through the um the back into the background. Their faces gone, their eyes were blurred, their shirts were so weird. Yo. Is gone. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, that was cool. That was awesome. Get a taste of Phrygian in there, and we kind of have it. Okay, so Phrygian is when you take the second degree of the scale and lower it, so it creates a weird clash with the the root. So you go. Whatever happened there. Ooh, that was nice. That was that was juicy. With and it, we also get like a little bit of bend in the guitar part, so it adds a, like a bit of the creepy effect to the Phrygian Phrygian line there. Their faces gone, their eyes were blurred, their shirts all soaked with sweat. He's riding hard to catch that herd. But <clears throat> okay. <laughs> oh. Gets kind of cool audio editing here. With sweat. He's riding. Mm -hmm. That's the line that happens in the background, but they start very muted. The background vocals start very muted and kind of open up as they go. Hard to catch that herd, but he ain't count them yet, no. no he ain't them yet. They've got to ride forever on that range up in the sky. Our horses snort and fire. Also, this is kind of trademark of Jeff, kind of the style that he's established for his content, where he has the melody in one voice, and then it splits and goes off into, I guess, four, maybe, and it might just be three, usually it just is three, uh, might be four background vocalists, kind of in like a more upper head voice range. Uh, so, so yeah, we're kind of sticking to the trademark Jeff style a little bit in that sense, Nothing wrong with that though, because it's a very nice style to acclaim to claim for yourself. And that up there, that dominant chord. It's not even the dominant. I think that's the generally what we're going for. That hurt, but he ain't count them yet. No. There we go, okay. We use the, um, that's my bad, we use the lead instead of the, um, instead of the sub tonic. Which is usually more appropriate in a minor key. So I don't know why that's not what I went to first, but anyway. Okay, 
Okay, so he might have four voices doing the background because in this section, I hear, I hear three in in the um in like the head voice harmony mixed with one doing a bass harmony. So kind of have a quartet feel going on here. As the Got some beautiful low G's. I, I don't have an A, I'm not gonna have a G. Across these endless skies. Lovely. Okay, I'm kind of vibing with this. I kind of got lost in it for the past few seconds. Oh, sorry about that. So we kind of have like a jam session going on here between the, the five voices, the four being led by the lead Jeff. It's really hard, you know what? I know he did something similar in Way Down, but I think he should give names to all of his background singers that are just different versions of him, but I think you should assign names to them each time. Okay, that's completely irrelevant. It just makes it, it would just make it, I get easier. You know what, we're gonna go one through five. That's what we're gonna do. One, two, you know what, this one's one, two, three, four, five. I'm wasting my time doing this. Let's, let's just listen to the music. Sweet how that last little bee kind of trailed off there. Also, the cool lightning shot. Okay, so the end of the song, the last like 30 seconds that we have, is just like a, um, we're kind of just vibing in this chord progression that we have going on throughout the entire song. Got a lot of, um, vocal painting going on here. Some really nice, some very pretty stuff going on here with these upper harmonies that he has going on. I really love this. You know what, this is a lot of fun. Let's listen to the end one more time. one Jeff playing with a gun in the holster and one Tim in the hat. So what we have at the end Something like that, that the um, motifical, excuse me, guitar line from the beginning just doing that and then resolving down to the root. So okay, that's a nice way to call back to the beginning to end the piece. I don't think there's much use um, <laughs> trying to pick apart the ending much more. Not a super complicated arrangement, I guess, but like, it's a joy to listen to. I had a lot of fun with this one, and like I said, I love the style of Johnny Cash. I think Jeff has a very good voice to be recreating this. I would love for him to cover Walk the Line. If you're seeing this, Mr. Coscalucci. Anyway, um, yeah, very fun arrangement. I am in love with this. I will be listening to this again. Cool. Okay, well, that's all I have for you guys in this video. That's all for me. Have a good day, and I will see you in the next one.